Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we will cover lecture number two of mechanics material two. That is about stress transformation, and we will cover first part that is to derive the equation for stress transformation, normal stress transformation. Plain stress transformation two D. Before going to this plain stress transformation, let's discuss about 3D that is general state of stress. This this cube is shown. And uh, axes are this is x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. So on this cube there are six faces, and each face has one normal, two shear stresses. So there will be 18 overall stresses. But due to symmetry and due to the assumption of tau x y equal to tau y x this will be reduced to only six stress components and these will be three normal stress component sigma x sigma y sigma z and three shear stress component tau x y tau y z tau z x or x z but general state of stress rarely occur in engineering process. that's why we will discuss 2d case plane stress most loadings are coplanar so stress can be analyzed in a single plane this is called a plane stress case if you look at the diagram cube is again cube is shown but only four faces has stresses and this if we pass a plane in this at this point all stresses can be shown on that plane and that's why it is called plane stress case so to convert this 3d into to show on 2d element this this is 2d element this x-axis is shown here this y-axis is shown here and this is sigma x sigma y tau x y tau x y is shear stress component if state of stress is produced on other plane having a rotation theta from positive x axis to x prime axis as shown in figure in the previous diagram this is normal this the stresses shown are along normal axis x and y but if some rotation is being occurred like if rotation is given here from x axis to x prime axis so so on this plane on this on this plane inclined plane state of stress will have stress component three stress component but these will be different from previous one new stress component will be sigma x prime sigma y prime and tau x prime y prime as compared with previous sigma x sigma y and tau x y but overall effect of these stresses on the point will be same and these stress component will be along rotative axis x prime and y prime that's why we are showing here prime because these are along rotated prime axis general location of plane stress transformation this is very important uh, derivation and to drive we should have some consistent sign convention for positive we are showing here plus x axis and plus x prime axis are used to define the outward normal on the right hand face of the element this is the element this is right hand face and on this right hand face this outer normal is along x axis this is the right hand face outer normal is along x prime axis now stress is sigma x and x prime sigma x and sigma x prime are positive when they are tensile as we have discussed tensile normal stresses are always positive shear stress tau x y or tau x prime y prime is positive when both outward normal like this 
outward normal is along this but along positive x axis and direction of shear on this phase direction of shear is along positive x axis so this is outer normal is along positive x axis and direction of shear is along positive y axis so answer will be positive or negative shear stress will be positive when both are negative i am explaining this at this phase this phase left phase this is outer normal and this outer normal and this stress is along this axis stress is sigma x and that is tensile that's why it is positive so there is no confusion in normal stress but in shear for shear we should know two axes one is outer normal outer normal is along negative x axis and direction of shear this is direction of shear direction of shear is along negative y axis so outer normal negative direction of shear is negative so th this shear will also be called as positive because negative and negative make it positive theta is positive when it is counter clockwise measured from positive x axis to x prime axis like you can see here it is positive so i have highlighted in yellow the positive sigma x positive sigma y positive to x y and positive theta normal stress component now we are driving this now uh, equation for normal stress component using the sign convention discussed in the previous slides if they, if that is the element previous element having sigma x sigma y along x and y axis normal x and y axis and if we have to determine the state of stress along inclined plane like this and it has positive theta from the vertical axis and again it is anti clockwise direction if you like uh, think twice it is positive theta so to determine this we will take this triangle like uh, we have taken here and the third dimension that is z axis is same uniform that's why the area that is specific is here that uh, that is along this face along this face can be assumed as delta a so assuming sectioned area is delta a then if this is delta a this angle is theta this angle theta this will be cos vertical component will be cos and horizontal area will be delta a sin theta sin component just trigonometry we have applied here to get sigma x prime we will apply three by diagram we will draw three by diagram to get sigma x prime we will apply sigma f x prime is equal to zero and remember we are uh, applying the equilibrium equation of force and we remember stress into area is force so this is one component along x prime this will also have a component along x prime axis this will also have this and this so there will be five forces that will have uh, force component along x prime axis and you can clearly look at this first force this is red axis x axis and this is along x axis so this is first force sigma x prime delta a second force this is second force i have drawn here this angle is theta and we are interested in finding this component this component is along x prime axis and this will be surely will be cause component of this force third force now we are interested in finding the component of this this force along this axis and this will be surely this angle is theta so this will be sine component twice y delta i cos theta into sine theta fourth force similarly this component this component will be sine component fifth force we are interested in finding this 
component and this will be again if this angle is theta so this will be cos component so if, if we write the equation sigma fx prime is equal to 0 it will be just write all those five forces this was whole and other will have some sine and cos component is equal to 0 delta is common it will be reduced to this equation and having the some trigonometric relation cos k theta is equal to 1 plus cos theta over 2 sin k theta 1 minus cos theta over 2 and 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to theta rearranging will give us sigma x prime will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into cos 2 theta plus tau x y into sin 2 theta so this complete our lecture number 2 thank you